Hi, my name is Kavita Sharma. I'm here to talk about how to use whiteboards today. Let's get started. So what you see on your screen is the whiteboard for practice. Um, click on this and you're gonna go down. It's the same page. Um, there are instructions which are written here. For example, this icon is pen, this icon is eraser, this icon is line, rectangle and so on. My general suggestion to you would be just go ahead and practice. And let me walk you through as what are the tools which you can use and why. So this is the pen. It is one of the good tool to use. You know, it is pretty easy to work with. You can write down the formulas, can draw and stuff like that. You know that CPM question is going to be very, very less. But in case there is a CPM question or some question on which you need to draw the node, uh, EMV question wherein you need to draw a circle, you can um, create that. You can draw a line and can show that here. If you want to write value here, you can write the value. So this is how things can be done. In case, now these are few things, um, come back, this is the pen, we can do a free flow here, we can write anything here, this is the eraser if I want to, these are the size of the eraser, so if I want to have a big size of the eraser, just go ahead and erase. If you want to clear the entire screen, you can clear the entire screen by using clear. Um, this is back, undo, this is redo, so these are also very handy. Now in case you think you don't want to write it here, you can put it in a different context and can start writing things here. So here you can make more drawings, you can start writing if you want to and then um, work with that. If you want, you can come back, move the drawing wherever you want to move it. This is the move button. So these are few tools which I think is easier for you to navigate and work with. There are others like this. Um, let me show you. There's this. I don't know why people have this. I have generally not worked with this tool. Um, it doesn't work for me. So don't. If you think you can or you want to, you can use Polygon. But for me, my perspective, I found the free flow easier. The rubber, which is, you know, removing some part of the screen. Otherwise, you can just use clear. Um, in case you're working with some diagram and you need to put the diagram here, a circle going to help you to create those uh, diagrams easier. Um, the text gonna help you write the numbers um, so these are few things which can help you very handy work with them don't go and try and change the background color or fill color it does not it's not value of your time so just use the whiteboard as is and you should be good with these tools so let me summarize you have a pen tool which is free flow you can write anything with that you can draw anything with that so most of the time get comfortable with this pen tool if you are comfortable with this half of the work is done um rest of the other tools are another handy tool is clear clear the entire screen and then you have drawing tool which you would want to use sometimes it's it's um, good to use these tools but I think pen gonna work very nicely for you that's pretty much it these are some strokes length so in case you are making a you know a rectangle this would increase the pen size in case you're making a pen again selecting this increase the nib size um, select the second or third, those are better nip sizes. That's it. And um, do practice the whiteboard before you plan to take the exam, either at home or at a center. Practice, practice and practice.
I hope you liked the video. Let me know your comments and feedback. I look forward to hear from you. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.